Hello, so I received this button making kit to, I hate the name buttons, I guess they call it a badge maker on here, which is more accurate. Um, I love these things, but my last one broke and this company offered to send me this for to review. And I really like how it's made because it's made so you can exchange these pieces into the 25 millimeter and a 32 millimeter and also the 58 millimeter. So they sent you all of these supplies for different size um, badges. So you have lots of options about what you want to do. And like, look how cute these are. They're like little keychains. I am really excited about this because then I'll be able to um, pretty much make keychains for everything because <laughs> I need them. Um, this is so cool. Let's see the back here. So lots of stuff in this kit. Um, the pieces um, fit into each other. And one of the things I had happen is my last one, this piece broke. It's a plastic piece. I mean, it broke. We put a lot of wear and tear on it. We use that button maker a lot. Like, I love it. I actually use it in therapy as well. So I have kids do um, affirmations and stuff. And we'll put them on a pin so we can remember we love ourselves. Um, and this actually tucks up in here. So if this were to break on this one, I should hopefully be able to get a replacement piece instead of having to replace the whole thing. The last button maker I had, it was attached. So I don't think there was a way for me to replace it. Now, I don't know if the company offers replacements, but it's just something to think about because it is plastic. I mean, you're gonna put a lot of wear and tear on these. Um, it's just part of the deal if you use it a lot. If you don't, you know, maybe, maybe not so much. So. This is cool. So you start out by putting this in and it just kind of fits in there. And then this piece slides in. Now you wanna make sure you don't lose the pin that comes with it. There's this little, little teeny pin that fell out and I wasn't 100% where it fell out of, but it actually goes right here. So it holds this in place so it's not moving around while you're using it. Cause it will, once you wanna take it out, you have to pull that pin out and then you can, pull the whole thing out again. So there are pieces for different sizes and you just replace it. Put the one in that you need. Very important stuff because you need the right size for the right pin set. Um, and they all come in purple. I wish there were different colors. That would be fun. Um, but yeah, can't have everything, right? Um, so I'm going to show you what it looks like to make one here in a second, but I'm gonna change out um, my size because I am excited about trying some of the smaller sizes as well. Okay, just to show you how this works, we, you'll notice this has like a little piece on it. You have to line it up. There's like a gap underneath. You can see where it goes and it just pops right in there and it will not come out unless you pull hard. See, it'll come out, but you have to kind of tug at it. But it's not terribly hard to do. So it's in now. And then this piece, oops, I gotta pull the pin out. This piece slides in. And now let me see this. How does this work? Well, let me see. You just pull, so you just go ahead and pull this up to get that through. Otherwise, you'll hit the, the back piece. So you have your little thing that you're probably going to have to try hard not to lose. It goes right there and stops you from pushing this too far over. The other one I had rotated. I kind of like this method better. And I'm thinking it'll be a little less... Um, work to press it down as well. So let's make a pin. Okay, so we put our metal piece in here for this particular size and I put my piece of scrapbook paper I cut to the right size and then I put the plastic film. We slide it here. Go ahead and press down. Try to be gentle. Okay, did it pick it up? It did! Okay, but we need to put our stuff in there. So hold on. Okay, so I put the washer. I think this is the washer in. <laughs> Hoping it's right. And we're going like this. Let's see if it works. Please work. The directions are a little tricky, but ooh. Okay, so that looks like it's right. 
and I think we just attach it using the sticker here. So this is a sticker. This is pretty typical, like this part doesn't end up being the thing you're doing. So, oh, that fits in very nice. Okay, it looks like I could put something on the back too if I wanted, so I might do a matching one on the back. Um, and then it's double-sided. Okay, so in the end I made two different pieces. I made a back and I made a front. Not the fanciest thing because I used my handwriting, which is horrible. But um, I'm going to make a bunch of templates that are the right size because I had them in the bigger size because that was the size my old button maker was before it broke. Um, I'm going to make a bunch that are in all the different sizes. As you can see, I've got my organizer set up. i got three different bins that I'm going to use to organize all my pieces. The really nice thing about this is I feel like I don't have to crank down as hard on this to get it to make the button, which I found my other one, I had to really jam it down or it wouldn't pick them up. And it was kind of a problem. Um, and I think that's probably why the piece broke. So this is a little bit, <laughs> this requires a little more, you don't need as much uh, force on it and it doesn't hurt your hand as much. And the other thing is when you put it down, when you do the first section, it goes like this. So it doesn't go into the holes, which gives it more pressure on the part that needs it. And then for this, for the opposite end, the second stage, you want it to go into the hole. However, the nice thing is it actually does that for you the way this is set up. So it actually changes it for you. Super convenient, just kind of a little thing that makes it easier. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this. I think it's going to work really well. We'll see how it goes after I make like 50 of these because I had a bunch of buttons prepped to go when my other one broke. But um, I love these button makers. They're just so much fun and you can do so many things with them, especially if you are crafty and do all the craft things. So just organizing this. I'll show you what they look like organized. Okay, so I was able to use my supplies from my old one in this one. So I think this is going to work really well because I'll be able to make the ones that I had already prepared. Um, I'll show you. I had a big container here for all of it, but I'm switching. I'm hoping to make this work. Although I've got all the different sizes. This is a slightly bigger box. The 58 millimeter button supplies take up a lot of space and the 32 and the 25 don't take up as much. This is a smaller bin and I have the brackets in there for them. I probably won't make that size as much because you can't fit as much on it. So the only thing is this isn't going to fit all my supplies. So I have this big bin for all of them. But um, yeah, um, I may have to make some adjustments for storage or just make a ton of pins and not have as much left over. Um, obviously that holds a pretty decent amount of supplies right there by itself. So yeah, um, I'm pretty excited. Alrighty, I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much. I'm going to do... Um, I had to do some more um, videos on this, but um, a lot of fun. I love making these. Um, and like I said, pretty useful for a business if you have one and want to make your own things. Of course, you could just order in bulk. If you need thousands, I wouldn't do it yourself. But, you know, when you're making just a few pins here and there, it's really useful.